There is a question, one of the questions in the chat, um, Sondor Spauka has uh, asked a question which opens how much work is being done to tackle the appropriation of the OED as a tool of language prejudice. And I feel like the answer to that question is to stop it being a tool of language, you know, in, you know, a kind of swords into plowshares type scenario where you say, okay, well, if this is, if this is, if this is incomplete, as Kelly says, if this is not the full picture of what English does, whether it's in terms of the, the words that are represented, the, the syntactic nature of those words or the pronunciation of those words, then we're not we're not doing our whole job if we're not reflecting all of all of this. And the way to kind of declaw the use of something like the OED as a like, like Kingsley was talking about earlier in educational contexts, um, and yeah, I really recognise that tension that Kelly mentioned as well between simultaneously not wanting to uphold those, um, you know, oh, well, if it's not in the dictionary, it's not codified, you know, that's very, those things are not unproblematic. But at the same time, you know, let's put these things in the dictionary and then they're in the dictionary and people can give them the appropriate, um, well, can can respect them, can can point to them, can say whether they're saying, you know, here is my, here is the way I say something. And look, it's right here. I mean, that's 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 really that's well, yeah, that, that's our whole enterprise. That's what we're trying to trying to do here. <laughs>